Guys, welcome to another episode of Sharing and Drink with Matt. Today I'm talking to Wollongong Kumsu, Dorney Zainfield. Oh, boy, how about that? Hey! 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 I did I I actually forgot that you were in Shawnee's now, Javen. <laughs> we're just going to slowly take over every band of, from the inside out. Yeah. So you could really play every night of the week if you wanted to, eh? Just I mean, different bands. Not much on a Tuesday. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you're on a Tuesday? Yeah. yeah. How are you, Maddie? You all been good? Yeah, good, good. Good, yourself? good man. Yeah. Very good. That's right. Pretty good. Okay, okay. Pretty good, says Phil. On a down one. To start things off, why the name change? Um, because we swapped that guy for this guy. Um, I don't know. I have Mitchell tattooed on my arm with the halo and um, leaving the Shawnee's Angels name with him felt it's right. A new era. Yeah. It felt, it felt appropriate. Right. Yeah, it felt mm-hmm. good. So you're called? <laughs> A new name is Stop Asking. Excellent. And where did that come from? Stop Asking. <laughs> <laughs> that was Finley that came up with that one. Uh, we wanted to keep the, right. uh, the logo and we wanted to keep the initials and the same thing. So we would just have a dictionary open looking for S names and A names, trying to put something together. So on a nice list, we're just getting stupid. And then a prophet appeared to me in a dream and I had this vision. <laughs> and the only thing that was left of me from the vision was this name and it just stuck. Pops, Don't that you is, think that might uh, be because your hair's tied too tight? <laughs> yeah, well, it, it opens the third eye. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So when's when's um when's stop asking gonna record? We've got a handful of uh, demo tracks that we're looking at uh, that we're working on. We're sort of coming through. Jaden's come on thick and fast and sent us a bunch of stuff. We've got some other things that we've been working on uh, in the background. So. Once we yeah. uh, sort of work out all the logistics of the transition, once we start like rolling properly with gigs, we'll be able to start looking at recording. It's been an odd transition point because we had the um, we have the twelfth of April, which is Mitch's last show, and then we were going to follow suit immediately and change everything the next day and sort of make it this you know sudden, quite disjointed thing. Yeah, um, and then we applied for a bunch of grants. It's like keep your URLs the same. So I'm like fuck, like. <laughs> All right, we'll get to changing the URLs when we do. But, yeah, essentially we'll play the last show with Mitch on the 12th of April and anything onwards from that is stop asking. Yeah. Is it going to be for a while stop asking, formerly known as? Yeah. No. So we have a... <laughs> It'll have to be. <laughs> we have a tour booked um, in June um, and all the promo posters for that are um, stop asking, formerly known as. Is that Hopefully. the dead one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just saw your combi killer's uh, stubby holder. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've got a... <laughs> I've got a... Where am I? Square tugs? Yeah, it's sick. Nice. Nice. And... I've got the pingers. <laughs> And <laughs> who was supposed to play with the pingers? Yeah, I'm super yeah. excited for that show. And then yeah. I've all, I've also got an Owen Guns one, a headbutt one, a no quarter one. Love to yeah, a few other things at the door, please, darling. Please, sweetheart. Like actually the <laughs> door. Door. Please the door. Door. Um, and they, please, I'm doing an interview. <laughs> doing an interview. Don't. I don't care that she don't fucking fuck you. Oh, you bitch. She's in a bad mood because she threw a phone and broke and they can't fix it till Tuesday. So. And now I have to wait for you to do some fucking interview so I can go get Bobby. 
Yeah, and I'm not going to even get you one if you keep going. Leave me alone. Go away. Alcohol. Yes. If I have alcohol, yeah, all right. Anyway, I'm doing it in you. Just go away, please. She is. She's been a bitch. Sorry, guys. You're right. Yeah. I've been being a drama queen for the last three days. It's all right, buddy. These guys have been listening to me bitch and whinge and cry and carry on. And it's a group, so if you want to trash yours now, now's the time because it's going to be cut. (laughs) (laughs) No, get out. No, no. (laughs) I really like yours and ours. I just want that on the record. I think they're incredible. All opportunities are greatly appreciated. Cut that, Dave. How dumb. Um, how's the last EP going? Oh, uh, whatever that was. <laughs> the, um, the, yeah, the album, the Planet Panic, the, um... It's made us, like, $30 uh, USD <laughs> in streaming. I think Authorized is up to about 8,000 streams. I think Omicronic is about 1,200. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Levitates, I think, on 600 and something, and then everything else is kind of in the one or two hundreds after that. Oddly, yeah, Levitate kept getting praise. Yeah. It. It's like, yeah, Levitate got a lot of... Well, wouldn't it? It's a very song. Thank you. It's a good song. Thank yeah, you. No, I don't fucking love it. It's just so not you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we didn't... We weren't going to put it on the album, and then, yeah, in, in hindsight, it was like, oh, well... It's kind of nice that we did. I feel because... like the whole album is just, well, we weren't going to put that on and someone somewhere is going, yes, yeah, yes, just, yes. Chuck it on. Yeah. yeah, someone else has peer pressured the other person. Like, yeah, it's a good track. It needs to go on. So, yeah, so it's nice to see some of them be. Do well. I mean, you'd, you'd expect that yeah. people are listening. Yeah, you expect the singles to do fairly well because they were out for a lot longer. Authorised was the first one. It's been out since, you know, last June. So you expect that to be a little bit higher than the rest. But for Levitate to be released in the December drop with the rest of the tracks, it's kind of ticked up past them. Yeah. Pretty good. Mad. I'm always stuck somewhere in this, like, halfway between being like, all right, yeah, I want to, like, drive this as far as it can go. And and then on the offside being, like, little 12 year old internal me would be like oh my god there's an album now like oh, that's cool that's enough <laughs> who cares how many people are listening like <laughs> we did it some um, people have listened like just yeah like own, yeah. yeah someone other than mum yeah, yeah yeah it's a good thing going good for us we might even do a music video maybe <laughs> should do an animated one all right oh, yeah. Are you good with it Hey, are you good with whipping those up? That's this guy. Um, Tyrone, <laughs> Tyrone's pretty good at it. Is he the guy that did the Dark Clouds animation? He's doing a Dark Clouds one at the yeah. moment. It's but not... um, he's been doing that for like eighteen months. He, he did the Owen Guns as well. Do a collab. Yeah, he did, and uh, Left Tards. Yeah, that's right. Levitate is the one we're doing a music video for. We have um, a film date set for in the middle of April sometime. And it was a really cute story and I'm mm. really excited to see how it turns out. But, uh, so that. any snake previews about the, the clip? Not visuals. We haven't filmed yet, but... It's got a heavy time travel sort of... Yeah, I don't know. Long story short, I met uh, a really sweet young girl at the airport when we were heading to Gold Coast um, who was travelling with her family and I was like, fuck it, I'm going to go give them a CD, say hi. They had like a yeah. huge ear um, piercing thing or something. Yeah, the, like the, the, father the parents something. looked a little bit alternative and this kid was just drawing and I'm like, I'm going to go chuck him a CD and say hi and and that resulted in the young girl emailing the band and thank, like saying oh, thank you and that she enjoyed the album and that she had a dream of being an actress. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. Come and film with us. Um, and I contacted her dad and, you know, went about it the right way um, and got their permission and come up with an idea that she fit into really well. So... All things going right, it'll be out pretty soon, and 
yeah, hopefully it makes everyone cry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, it sounds like it's going to be good. Can't wait. So when's that due? When are you starting production? We um, start filming uh, mid-April, so. Mid-April, okay. Not far away at all. Yeah, no, a couple of weeks. Shit. Location? Shit. Unknown. Unknown. Okay. Oh, no. no more spoilers. This is already. <laughs> You've pretty much seen the whole video. <laughs> there will be an interview. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was just thinking too, in that dead way, um you're playing twice that day, Chauvin. Which day? It's a, it's a dead way tour in June. Oh yeah, with rejects as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, one of the local ones. Hey, that's Did actually you... that's the servo show where he plays three Rio, times because yeah. he plays in Macquarie Fields at the skate park with us in the daytime. Yeah. And oh, he's doing the skate park. Who's doing the skate park? That's the part of the Jetway tour. Yeah, yeah, no, but is Jaben playing a radio reject from that? Or? He's playing with Sean Us because well, we'll be oh, a stop okay. by then. So mm. um, he's playing with us at the skate park and then with radio rejects at the servo and then stop asking at the servo. So was it going to be at one point? As well, so yeah, originally Ocean was going to be on that show as oh, well, yeah. so then it would have been just like Jaden Fett. <laughs> I just stay on, and the other members get on and off around as needed. And <laughs> you get sound checked, then everyone else can <laughs> do a bass solo. I think this one doesn't turn out like the last one I organized, yeah, Does that turn out? yeah, but Combi Day, there's a brilliant Blake, and all the bands on the on the whole tour, they're all fucking magic. Yeah, Dave was great to us in Queensland too. Like he yeah. made everything great up there. Organised radio interviews for us. Yeah, He's a brilliant guy. He's Which brilliant. I forgot. We woke just... up in Queensland. And I'm like, fuck, wake the fuck up, everyone. We're gonna be on the radio in like 20 minutes. Get up, get up, get up. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was asleep for sure. Yeah. What was that? ABC. No, no. we were in Brisbane on four triple Z. Radio? That was cool okay. with you know, Combi Chris. Shorty. No, no, Converse Chris. Converse, Converse Chris. Chris, yeah. Shorty's woken up and seen them, the radio station, posting on Facebook, like, oh, we've got Shorty's Angels in the studio today. And she went, shit, Jordan, wake up. We're on the radio in an hour. And I went, ah. <laughs> ran, over to get, ran over to get fitted, bitch. I was like, boys, wake up. Put some fucking pants on. We're going to go. Like, <laughs> who, was, uh, who was the announcer? Who was the... Uh... Was it Jay? It was um on the radio that day. Yeah. Uh Converse Chris on four triple Z, kids with class yeah. kicking us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Such a good like show name, by the way. So good. Because <laughs> Jay from um Friends of Rom, he does triple J, eh? Hey? He's got his own. I think he used to. I don't know if he still does anymore. No. But McDougal still does. I think yeah. he's. Yeah. Um, we talked to Lindsay last was it last week? Last week, yeah, and the ABC Illawarra. We were there. On yeah, the yeah. Last Wednesday, um, yeah. Was that you guys? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I went, went and bought some alcohol the other day, and the guy at at Dan Murphy's goes, "Oh, I just saw fucking Jabin's thing at the, uh, <laughs> the ABC." <laughs> and when? How do you even know when? Did I know him? And he goes, oh. <laughs> it's probably because he yell out at me every time he drove past the car park. <laughs> it was like, oh, you something out. That's like I, I was walk. Oh my god, I was in, I was in Woolies, right? And um, this lady, big smile on her face, comes up and goes, "Oh, God loves you." And I said, "Yeah, cool." And then and she kept on. She kept following me around Woolworth saying, God loves you, God loves you. And I said, yeah, I don't love him. And she goes, oh, well, he's patient. Don't worry about it. He's patient. I went, oh, okay. And then we both went our other ways. And then about 20 minutes later, she came back and she goes, God loves you. I said, well, why do you keep coming up to me? Is it the upside down cross tattoo on the side of my face? Or the fact I'm wearing a I hate people, Mr. Potato Head shirt. <laughs> or the left cards written on my hat. 
And she goes, oh, no, no, I just got love to you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> it was just a random situation that was, it actually made me feel uncomfortable. Mm. But, yeah, I, was, I wanted to say really horrible things about God, but I thought, no, but. Randoms in the least. God's coming on a little strong in voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so tell us all, all about the the new Shawnee's Angels. Stop asking. Tell us more. We're in the uh, writing stages of mm. probably like I don't know, years of chucked like ten tracks out. We've been, yeah, we've been floating through like you know at least half a dozen, maybe anywhere up to ten tracks, just floating between us. Stuff from my back catalogue, stuff from Jabin's back catalogue, just sort of passing it between each other and you know, getting fit involved and seeing where we can add some dynamics and pull it back and forth and then taking that and giving it to Shorty and saying, all right, you know, here's a, here's a something and yeah, like we even we took, to it. took one of Jabin's pretty little acoustic songs. That's the one we played on ABC, mm. pretty little acoustic songs. We're like, all right, so let's like fuck it up halfway, like make yeah. it put a really disjointed like dynamic change in and started off as this sort of almost like an Irish jig kind of thing and then we stop Finn comes in with the punk drums the big roundabout fill yeah like how can we make this a six minute long like sort of just like, epic yeah. yeah um it's so, never what you expect so that's been fun so when we upload this do we upload it stop asking yes yes yeah I believe we have a week or just two, do it. two just weeks do it, yeah. left of being Shawnee's Angels. Come but everything's April 12th starting to be, over. yeah, everything's, we uploaded the ABC interview on As Stop Asking. Everything's starting to shift now. So we're trying to make that uh, transition very known. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And we use the same logo, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, not, that's, that's it. <laughs> 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 Recycle those assets. It's good for the environment. Which that logo gra- is great anyway. I think do, you drew oh. it on like paint on the train. I drew it on my iPad. Um, yeah. I've been for beers after work and I got on the train and went, I'm going to draw something on my iPad. And I just went, eh, 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 eh. Yeah, that was cool. Awesome. Done. Hey guys, what do you think of this? And then that became the logo for the rest of the band. Let's never change it. Yeah. It's gone through a few color changes. It's, but... shirt, it's the only shirt that I like that doesn't have anything on the front. Like, I hate shirts that haven't got anything on the front. Yeah. But, yeah, I like... Yeah, yeah. It's so backwards, bro. Yeah, it's only backwards for us. Who's A is? It's the right way around. Yeah, I see it properly. Yeah, he saw it properly. I don't see asking stop. <laughs> we did have uh, one version of the shirt that had it smaller on the front here with the little uh, name down the bottom there, but we've gone through a few variations of merch. Mm. Maybe we'll get the sale at the end of the. <laughs> my my particular favourite merch is, um, and we've got a couple left, exclusive, limited edition. Um, is the red and black Omicronic hoodie where mm. the. Uh, is it the, the S didn't print properly? So you've just got an anarchy symbol on the front. Oh, yeah. Front and it's, oh, go on, get a get, get an one example. out. Get one get off. Boss one out. They've just got um, boxes in their living room with this stuff. Coolest art on the back, but then you've just got this big anarchy symbol on the front because I don't know, something the print messed up. So we've got a couple of these. You can't really, uh, it's <laughs> been ASMR unboxing. <laughs> really won't ruffle it near the camera. All right, yeah. There we go. So, yeah, you're, you're supposed to see the S in there, but you can't really. No. And that's the uh, that's the back. That's Shorty's artwork. Magic. Magic. And and you got them for sale? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. you can get, like, this. There's a pink one. There's a green one. All sorts of wacky stuff. Um, there's a merch. Store. There is a merch store. There's store, a yeah. merch store link in our link tree. We have a square Instagram. store. I'd, I'd rather just go through you guys because I'm fucked with that link. Yeah. Well, come to the show and watch me struggle with yeah. the square reader. Whenever we go to a show, we bring a handful of everything. So we've got that. Definitely. 
And my my producer just said that he wants to buy one. So yes, <laughs> we yeah, only made nice. extra large. The thumbs up. I love that. <laughs> yes. You can eat again this week. Yeah, it's your XXL, aren't you? Hmm? I think he's XXL. He's big man, not fat, just big man. Yeah. Um, the hoodies are all. We X, only made XL. XL, XL size. Yeah. Uh, but that's that's about my size. That's you get a bit of a bit of room in there. All right, just put a medium and a XXL away. All right, noted. What are they? Forty five or something? Because they're hoodies. They look like. Uh, the hoodies are a bit. Yeah, they're a bit XC, but uh, the shirts and everything they're not. My favourite is the bucket hat. Where's that? There's one of them up there. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Show and tell. Please buy from us. we got to come to the UK. We can't afford this shit. We just yeah. said yes. Buy our merch so we can go to the UK. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, no, I, I fucking know. I don't want one of those. No hat, no play. So you're yeah. Should have the flat hats. No. I only ever, and I did this with the Owen Guns and the Radio Rejects. I only ever accept a t shirt the first time. And after that, I just buy all the merch I get. Look, I've bought five Owen Gun shirts, yeah. four, four left hard shirts. Oh, uh, fuck. Three re Radio Rejects. Yeah. So put, put me down. For a bucket hat in the medium and a XXL, and, and then and then your bank details, which would be better if you can do that. I'd be yeah. safe. Well, I'll also pay for the postage and handling. We can you can buy Jay. Just bring it around to you, or I'll bring it to a gig or some, something, and save you the uh, save you the extra save money. Save you the trip out. Yeah. <laughs> well, we Leave it in the band room. Mm. Leave it in the band room. It'll make its way to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Trick. I couldn't believe that, mate. I was so stoked. Mark grabbed that fucking I hate people shirt, Mark from Guttermouth. Yeah, we heard about that. And then he ended yeah, up Jay leaving. Jay bought a home. Jay bought a home. It's like. I was like, Maddie was freaking out about his I Hate People shirt today. And he's like, oh, this one. And he just moves it out of his bag. <laughs> I'm like, he's a lucky man. <laughs> yeah. I made all of Jason's shirts pink today in the wash. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, really? With my creeping Jenny jumper. Yeah. That's a good jumper, though. You know, this will blow you away, but I've got it. I did it all. Yes, I've got them all, all my shirts in plastic bags. Yeah. And I've written down, like I write on the plastic, because I was sick of fucking going through them because I had a full drawer of them rolled up. I've got yeah. 115 now since since I started doing this show. Bloody nice. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. Here I thought I was good just like trading them. And they'd all be, they'd all be black too, wouldn't they? Yeah, I don't wear any other. Oh, no, I've got a, I've got a, um, a white donkey cock one. Yeah. Oh. I've got, yeah, I've got a white donkey cock and a yellow Owen guns, but the rest of black, yeah. Yeah. So, like, I have, what, what is it? Is it slop, is it slosh pit that have the fluorescent ones that you have? Yeah. They're sick. The limited ones like tan as well. I saw a slosh pit shirt the other day. I think you were wearing it. Yeah, those fluorescent print ones that they did were sick. Yeah, yeah, you were on it that night at Dicey's. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, big time, <laughs> big time. So, say, so, this is the, the 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 new lineup. Yeah, this is it. This is the band. This is it. This is our boy. Claudia's Port, over in the corner. She's recently started like taking photos Make for noise. us. The camera will um, love you. Hello. Well, she can do that mighty, mighty boss tone thing and just dance on the side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, oh, you know, she could learn come saxophone, on, you know. We could be a star band. Torts is going to learn trumpet. There she is. <laughs> so, Claudia's going to come on tour with us and take photos. 
I'm hoping to get work yeah. off. <laughs> like, not like last time I had to work the whole time. All I got to do was see that tour that I organised. I got to see one show. And oh, I had to work the rest of the time. And if I don't get work off, all I'm going to be able to see is the skate park and the servo. Mm. Nice. Yeah. But, yeah. but I want to go to the, I want to do the whole fucking thing one day. Someone smashed my car window the other night. That's not very nice. That's not very Bolambi. No. I, oh, I think it was my daughter's. <laughs> They work aren't very happy about me with taking all the time off for the tour, but so that's all right. So, Jaden, how does it how does it feel like coming into a already a st- I suppose you came into Radio Rejects after they were already established. How was it coming into Stop Asking as an already established band? Uh, I guess I made all the mistakes with the radio projects uh, system. What was that? Sorry? Do you feel like you've, I don't know, you've got to compete with the person you're taking over from? Do you feel? It's more, I'd say, like an understudy thing at the start. Um, Mm -hmm. Mitch Mitch came along to the first couple of rehearsals and he would sort of sit in, like, the lounge and watch and then give notes, which was really helpful. Um, he sent me a bunch of like videos on how the tracks are played so I could get up to speed real quick. But I think from there, there's always just been like, I don't know, the general attitude where it's like, you don't have to be Mitch. You don't have to play Mitch's parts the way he would do it. Yeah, that's the, one of the first things we said when David was Except coming on. Was, was, you know, we, yeah. had, we wanted him to like obviously learn the songs and play the songs how they should be, but we don't want him to be a carbon copy of, of the guy who came before. We don't want him to be just exactly. trying to pitch. We wanted to bring his own style and his own dynamic and his own energy to this and, you know, work that in. It's been great so far. And then, cool. and, and with your new songs, it, you know, it's, it's going to be even better because it'll be Jamin's style. Yeah. Straight yeah. up. Just different, I guess. We, um, we do have a lot of overlapping musical tastes. Like, Shawnee would agree, Jordan and I would sort of bust out into, like, Rise Against or Offspring over dinner all the time. <laughs> um, we all love Queens of the Stone Age. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of, you know, we all like our own sort of separate uh, yeah. spheres of random different stuff, but there's a lot of like cross-correlation in what we like to write. Yeah. Synth and noise as well. You know, like Finn's pretty on uh, the same wavelength with that sort of stuff. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was just about to ask Finn about that. What, how, how is it for you? Pardon? How how is how is it for you having a a new guitarist kind of thing? Like your 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 mindset on the last guitarist, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's is like it? uh, it's like wearing plastic gloves, and then you take off the plastic gloves and you put on like a leather glove. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a different hand feel, but. You know, in some ways, you can do different things that you could never do before. I thought, yeah, I thought for a second they were talking about the airport going to Queensland. Yeah, well, well, (laughs) Shawnee had a bag of protein powder in her carry-on. They didn't like that. I took my snare drum carry-on. Every time I go through an airport, they fucking hold me up. I've been bomb swabbed every time I go through the place. They held me up because I didn't have my iPad taken out of my bag. And then when I took it out of my bag and gave it to them, they were like, no, 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 you're not supposed to take it out of the bag. I'm like, what? <laughs> I, <laughs> I, know, it was <laughs> I was literally just holding my snare drum in. <laughs> it's all power trip. So you're getting pretty well established in the scene now, aren't you? Are we? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I think so. It feels I, strange. It, it feels strange because I feel like we all have imposter syndrome. That, I mean, bar fit. Like, yeah, it's no, just I'm like, fuck like, yeah. He thinks he's a god. But when, when, <laughs> whenever we see a, a yours and ours post for Dicey's or something that says, you know, local Wollongong punk favourites, Shorty's Angels are back at, back at it again, we go, oh, is that us? No, we're, no. 
I don't so, so much. Half the time I broke the Yeah, bike. I was going to say, <laughs> that is the words we wrote. Half the time I'm the one paying the bike. Yeah, you're not calling us punk favourites. You're calling us the DIY garage. Punk Jordan and I got so excited in the kebab shop the other day. Like, Jordan, yeah. like, actually, you spotted it, didn't you, David? The, yeah, La La La's poster that's just like, oh, so we were just in the kebabby trying to get a drunk feed. I'm like... It's just the La La La's oh, guy. Are we real <laughs> musicians? <laughs> like... <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah, we've 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 got we've jumped in a fair bit this this last month or so, which is odd because we haven't really done much. We're just getting around, like we just <laughs> we just we just go places, and for some reason, oh, people yeah. are enjoying it. So yeah. that's good. Watch out, for FPVs. Yeah, it's, it's nice. nice. We get messages from bands that uh, we haven't had much contact with. They're like. Do you want to play a show? We need a support. Uh, I was personally really excited. Like even just that, the show we played with Charlotte and the Harlots down in Canberra last year with Don't Praise the Machine. Yeah. Yeah. This. Um, <laughs> uh, I was excited that show because I remember maybe 12 months, 18 months before that, seeing Charlotte and the Harlots play with Wax with mm. Finn. Mm. I can't even remember where it was, Crowbar or something. Yep. And um, I was like, fuck, yeah, these these girls are cool. Like, you know, I, I want to perform like this with these girls one day. And it was really then a very quick few steps after that that we were. And I played with them in Valfar in 2019 or something. And I was just like, we got to message this band. These guys are sick. <laughs> so what you did, you just messaged them and said, hey, we're putting, I've put it to put together a show. Do you want to play it? Yeah. Send your favorite band messages. Like, yes, amends. You know, we've seen amends a few times now, and they ended up going to the US, but we were chatting to them for a little bit about putting some shows yeah. on and saw them and caught up with them for a good chat at um, Bloom's Fest. Bloom Fest, was, yeah. You, Bloom you know, Fest. and even those sorts of things are quite surreal because we're like, oh, like we can like play the, the, yeah, the, Feeling like an established band thing is new, new weird. and weird and strange to us. So we're like, ah, oh, is this actually real? <laughs> Have you got a fear, but that um, yes, people yes. are going to stop asking and not read any further and and think, oh, stop asking, never heard of them, blah blah blah, and walk away. Is there any fear of that? No, no. I think if we were trying to do... You feel like you have to establish yourselves as a new band. I, I feel like, I feel like no. Like, if, if we were going to just go dark and then come out of nowhere with this new name, I feel yeah. like that would definitely be a thing. But because we've been so open and been, you know, uh, so out there about, hey, yeah. Mitch has decided to step away because of his own personal reasons. That's fine. That's cool. We're going to still keep going. Here's what we're doing. We've been very, like, open and transparent with the and whole process. And we're not slowing down either. Yeah. It's that was a big... We're not going on hiatus or anything like that. We're just, we're the, we're the same band, essentially, with a with a new yeah. guitarist and a new name. You know, we're trying in the same breath to be a little bit, you know, a step ahead of what's going on publicly. So we're trying to write for things that, you know, like we're, we're sort of just about to really make the transition while in the same breath we're trying to write, and, you know, yeah. soon stuff. Right? So we're trying to be a little bit of a, ahead of what we're putting out. Um, but I think that, yeah, there's been no real fear about maintaining the name because I think Shawnee's Angels exceeded what we thought it was going to be anyway. So mm -hmm. I think anything now we're just, we're grateful for anyway, because we not only a year ago, a year and a half ago, we're playing in a tin shed, um, not playing shows. That's so what, that's what baffles me is that we haven't really started gigging. A year and a half like ago. Yeah. Yeah. 18 months ago. Yeah. And the first like the first six months we only did I think three or four gigs yeah. over the whole time. I know for me any fear comes from like even today we had Prague and I had a bit of an off day and I'm like any fear for me comes from that internal pressure of going above what I did before, you know, so trying to do something better and you know more in depth and more uh, you know 
vulnerable than I did with Planet Panic. Um, so I've got my own pressures there, but I think in terms of fear of meeting a public expectation, there there is n- none because we're like, oh shit, we've gone further than we thought we were anyway. So yeah, anything definitely. is a bonus. Yeah. And, and Jay, oh, that's all right. I was going to say first, I don't know if it was your album review or something. Did you read the comment? I don't know who, who it was, but they said, Shawnee's Angels are the reason we broke up. How, yeah. could, we com- how could we compete with that? Was that you, Javen? Yeah, I think it was one of our... Um, it was a disappointment. disappointment. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Oh, that's right. Disappointment. It's this guy, one of his 10 bands. I think I went on and logged in with each account and commented with each account. <laughs> the disappointments are the greatest loss of like gong punk music. Yeah. 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 If, you, if you missed out on the disappointments, you just missed out. That's it. They're never reforming. They never will. Don't even ask. When I'm I can't believe that was really fucking. Jordan, yeah, be so for context, the disappointments played a, their final show and they all did like a breakup on stage. Um, yeah, <laughs> so they blamed that breakup on Shorty's Angels. It's, it's yeah. true, That's according to YouTube comments, yeah, which yeah. everyone knows are citable sources, peer reviewed, um, legally binding. <laughs> not in any way, for publicity reasons, no. 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 It'd be good if you could get a single out at least before the June tour kind of thing. And that might be doable. All right, yeah. pick, pick one. What do you want to do? Let's do it. To play. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, all right. Cool. To play, we'll, we'll get it out before then. We'll credit you as a producer because oh, of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the credits now because you told us we had to do it. All we need is a bit of peer pressure every now and again. Yeah. It's like, all right, fuck it. Cool. Done. <laughs> That's the first one off the rank. Yeah, no, I think it'd be a great idea. And it, it, you're playing with some great bands, like Four Clipped Assassins. They're fucking brilliant. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like Spider Bait meets Iron Maiden. That was a really exciting show too, that Geelong show, because that wasn't part of the tour run. It yeah. was extra. And we were down there and, yeah, we just got added to that show. And While you are in Rome. Yeah, it was pretty exciting. All roads lead to Geelong. That's it. Isn't he a brilliant Lex? He's just fucking oh, amazing. It's all style as well. It's like a machine. It's like watching Steve yeah. Harris. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. warming up with Iron Maiden Roofs the first time we ever played with him. Oh, I think I was disappointed when we played him. <laughs> are you <laughs> ready for it? I know it's a couple of months away, but are you, are you, are you hyped up already? Not too busy to be hyped up, eh? Like for the tour. For the tour, oh, yeah. I, there's there's, there's yeah. so many things on the list before then. Like, I think we're going to get through the April gig, do the transition, then maybe sort of... You're playing with Rust, day. aren't you? Sorry? Aren't you playing with Rust at some stage? Oh, is that the camera? Camera, maybe. No, that's... Hey, maybe. Maybe. Our brains have become sludge. <laughs> uh, uh, I just remember that we had May before June. I'm like, April, June, we're going to really have to. We got May. We just we relaxed. We got all May to schedule to get... excited for the relaxation. Both Shawnee, Javid, and I all have like two or three separate calendars, like one in our phone, one in a diary, one on the wall. We're all housemates for context. Everything yeah. that we're all doing. <laughs> Take your job, Not me. What was that? Sorry? Us three do. So we, we all live yeah. here. Finn and Tortilla live down the road. Hmm. You still have to come to my place to teach each other the riffs. That's all right. <laughs> Finn has a drum kit, so we all have to go over there. The spores make for a little yeah. yeah. buzz going. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. yeah. No, that we just get yeah. rid of these couches and we put the drum kit here. Just come and wipe this. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get Remember the splatterheads? The Lompoc County splatterheads? Was that Maddie? Do you remember the Lompoc County splatterheads? No, no. Oh my god! Are we showing our age? Oh, I just—I don't know. I'm just shattered. These but, guys. Now, disappointed. 
Hang they on. bought their. Um, look them up later. Look them up. They brought out some some great fucking songs, and um, they broke up. And I, I, because I, I used to actually live in a squat in Cleveland Street in uh, Surrey Hills. Yeah, right. In eighty five, I think it was eighty five, eighty six, and it was like this: how this building had thirty rooms, so there was thirty bedrooms, thirty different groups of people lived in this, and they, the whole band, lived in in this squat house anyway. But um, yeah, they ended up breaking up at the late nineties kind of thing, and I ended up catching finding one of them on um on Facebook and said, "Let's, I oh, really want to do an interview with you. I know you're not current at the moment, but you were a big part of the Sydney underground punk scene in the eighties, and now because through that interview, these guys have." rekindled their relationships That's sick. and uh, <laughs> yeah they're putting out another album and are um, going on a fucking mad tour with the nursery crimes it's going to be splatterheads and nursery crime going on this tour and it was i used to love these guys man and it was yeah because they got back together through the interview, it was fucking radical. I don't even know why I said that. Like, that had nothing to do with what we were talking about. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was it was it together. Yeah. That's what made me think of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah because with Matt. I come out, right, I'll be like, I'll go have a shower and I'll come out and these are like, these guys are like, I don't know, standing half naked in the kitchen playing guitar while trying to cook a pizza at the same time. I don't need to know. It's just oh like God. cooking something and being like, yeah, if we put this here and put that there and then hang on, let me flip that. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Someone <laughs> rotate the meat. Like, yeah. <laughs> Production credits. You've got to listen to it. Do you remember the Space Juniors at least? Space Juniors. Don't know that one. Uh, four piece. They did like a half an hour set and did about 43 songs in a half hour set. Sounds like first collective. Grindcore. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was great. Man. It was like they did this song, We're All Walking Down a Boulevard, and they did Chewing. Check out Chewing. Yeah, they're another band that lived together, that, which made me think. Uh, man, my mom's set up in my place. So we're moving with you. Yeah, we got a shower down there. Everyone you're not taking him. You're not bloody taking him. Thought you'd come too. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just carpeted my ceiling. I'm never leaving. That sounds so strange. Ben's been soundproofing his dungeon, yeah. and now he's really attached to his dungeon. He's not going to leave. No. Ben, you, you, you fucking blow me out all the time. At the moment, I don't know if you're wearing earphones or <laughs> that's just your hair. That's hair. It's just his hair, isn't it? Yeah, fucking hell. <laughs> Have you know, sorry, uh, off off the track again. He shows on the casino, the Spanish love songs. Yeah, <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> on social media. Have you seen the big blast of Nirvana that's been happening lately? Nirvana, who are they? <laughs> yeah, like Facebook. Every single day, there's three or four posts about Nirvana. I don't know. Is it? No, you can't have your Why? Easter chocolate now. No. Why, bro? Because, bro. I'm old enough. You're old enough. Wow. Go and take it. You get nothing tomorrow then. Sorry. <laughs> don't have kids till you're like ready to have kids. <laughs> Noted. Good. The thumbs up. <laughs> Is that from Dave? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah I, I want to hear more about the the um the change and I don't know. 
You can explain. You know, it's, it's hard to explain what I want to say. Um, you, that was the end of an era, Shawnee's Angels, and you got you got um, a new band member and blah blah blah. Is yeah, is the sound going to change? Are you going to go harder or softer or longer or shorter? End and start of an era. Shawnee's Angels, the oh, turn, the umbrella sort of feeling, mood. I met Jordan, Mitch and Finn in a time in my life where I was very, very isolated. They pulled me out of a really abusive situation um, and they gave me a home. My mum sort of gave them the pet name Shawnee's Angels. It stuck. It stuck as a joke. Oh, wow. It outvoted um heaps of times in band naming votes um and when Mitchell decided to leave I didn't no one else was part of that group you know that helped me through that stage um so I was like there is no way that whoever it is um is someone else going to step into that position and that umbrella term going to be Sean and Angels I was like Fair enough. it's gone beyond that so yeah. I was very much, I was very verbally going, if we're doing this, if we're continuing from Mitchell, we're renaming. In, in whatever sense it turns out, um, it needs a new name. And I didn't care what the specifics were beyond that. I'm like, all right, here you go, Jordan Kett, start spitballing, start naming. I don't care what it is. It's just not going to be sure these angels. And you um, started spitballing. Oh, yeah. And you saw that board somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I made a canvas. It's got like Jordan's a... Uh, yeah. Uh, we had a lot of... Uh... It's got some mixed media documents <laughs> <laughs> mixed into it. Um, Did and... you try a, a, a collection of essays? Yeah, like, you know, surprise anal. Surprise yeah. anal, swamp S ass, the assholes, what stupid ants. Um, several ants. No. <laughs> I don't know. Something, there was two million mine stupid names and then yeah Finn out of nowhere had some sort of spiritual dream and was like stop, stop asking. asking and we went that's amazing because we are actually kind of sick of people jo asking about what's going on laughed like yeah. belly laughed for like two days about it like I'd wake up and be like <laughs> it's going to be like um who's playing the Dicey Rileys tonight stop asking the first time this is the first time I've asked. Who's playing the dicey role? It's just gonna be something. There's <laughs> there was a band up on the Gold Coast years and years ago in the 80s called Dollar Drinks. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, free beer or those ones. It's tonight only free beer. Yeah, 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 that kind of thing. But yeah, they were dollar drinks and and when they played on the billboard was dollar drinks. And well, for a while. Know. It probably, it probably the whole time got a couple of people, but for a while, everyone used to think it was like, oh, I don't want drinks. And, yeah. yeah. And then the playroom actually started doing dollar drinks. So they, <laughs> you know, oh, fuck. It was pretty good. Sound wise, um, I think there's going to be. Definitely more lead guitar lines incorporated. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't think the sound is going to change but, necessarily. It's more like evolve as it as it does. Yeah, us being, you know, going into a second album and having a new guitarist. It's going to be more creative, more alternative, more strange, um, more developed. It's not going to be the first set of songs that we managed to write. It's now going to be like. Well, what do we want to do now? Yeah. And you've seen Javen, he's in all these other bands. Like he, he played his car, like guitar, he plays bass, he does vocals. Like it's, a, it's going to be a lot more like a versatile kind of collaborative environment where we can just sort of do whatever we think of. But we've been playing the same album from our first gig pretty much. Almost all the songs were there. And every single gig, it's been, we're going to play our album. Now we're at the phase where, for the first time, never seen before, we're going to do something different. And I feel like we've spent a lot of time developing our show, developing ways to make our show more interesting and evolved and actually connect more with the audience. Now, for the first time, we're going to be turning that into something we've never done before, never played before. 
Yeah. Even the um, Spur decision to, I had a, the day we were playing on ABC, I had a really weird vocal day. And I tried to run through and levitate. And I'm like, yeah, this isn't sounding very nice. Let's do something different. And we played the first half of Deplete, a new track that we're doing. And it's, yeah, it's, I guess the first step into. Because I can't see you being shy. I can't see that you were having a, a shy time. Like, Johnny, I can't see that you you were, um, yeah, I, do, I don't think you were having a bad time because of nerves or anything. Uh, this is, I've, I've picked up a cough from working yeah, in Sydney yeah, and I've brought Jordan, it into the house and made everyone else sick as well. Jordan brought home some weird yeah cough and i we got to abc that day and i'm like i don't think i can sing today it's not yeah so it's pretty it's not little. COVID. we tested and it's not COVID, but it's still a fuck your vocal cords you're trying to get up up to any sort of high notes and it just clamps in it's back that and weird i don't know why i've decided to put so many is it flats that i've put all through like yeah. levitate that yeah. are just they just sit at a really weird vocal point and now I'm like, why did I write it like that? Because it's cool. Johnny's it's beautiful. Johnny's a perfectionist. It's, That's it's why it sounds so good. It's a plucky. <laughs> but, uh, so now yeah. Jason's in the band. Is um, Are you going to step down and and he and let him sing a song? or? Nah. Nah. That just means she's got an extra backing vocalist. So you'll have Jaden and like, which I'm very excited for. Both Jaden and I have just been like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I'm a, goes over the top. I'm a massive like Iron Sheik fan, and I love the like, I don't know, three, four layer backing vocals and like punk stuff where it's just oh, like you can hear so many sad male voices just in unison. Mm -hmm. I love that. It's one of my favourite sonic things ever. Sad, sad men. And now I've got multiple. Sad I've males. even said to Finn, I'm like, I'm going to stick a mic on his kit and like that. I've got three mm -hmm. part backing vocals. I think the Phil Collins gooseneck microphone would be the way to go. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, man. Man. Please, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, like the drum kid that like tips up and goes yeah, over the roller coaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why would I give him a song? He's got seven other projects. Give him a song. Yeah. yeah. What about if we give Torts a song? Yeah. Maybe give Claudia a song. For sure. You get a song when you stop asking. Punk <laughs> actually sounds good with like um. That. Maybe we'll give back up female vocals. What is that? <laughs> That's her cat. This That's a fair cat. He just come into the room. He's uh, part of the bed now too. So small. Oh no, he's big now. Say hi uh, to the camera. He's not interested. Uh, so I'll put like a snack in front of the camera. This is what the Maybe music he'll... industry is, Toki. Toki. There we go. Wait, wait. There we go. Nah. Oh, he's touching the iPad. Oh, wow, he moved your hand towards his mouth. You've got four cats. Oh, You've got five cats? The three oh. Of the oh, I'm coming to your house. Three girls and a boy with, like, really black balls. He's just white. He's a ragdoll. Rag and he's just got the blackest balls. Not Just not quite unlike... <laughs> oh, the tension. He's got. Oh, he's got oh, 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 hey, buddy. He's so ugly, eh? Oh, he's so happy. He's got. He's got. You know how you get an overbite? He's got an um, underbite. Yeah. Um, look yeah. how ugly he is. He's, hello. I'm ugly. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not paying that on you, dumb. It's all right. Oh. He's a cutie. Yeah, he's the best. He, he's not even eight months old and he's already impregnated two dogs. Mm. I give that dog a nine and a half out of ten. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we're going to end up ending up soon. So, um, yeah, tell us just a little bit of spiel about what's in the future because Jeff gets these interviews out pretty easy quickly now. So, yeah, what's happening in the 
close near future. Mitch is last show. Next week we play at the Servo. Yeah, Servo, Newcastle, then Mitch is last show. So we've got Mitch for three more shows. Yeah, so Thursday, next Thursday at the Servo. Then we've got Sunday <laughs> at Hamilton Station uh, with I Hate People. Then Mitch's last show on the 12th at La La La's on the Friday. Once Wait, that happens, nothing will ever be the same. From there, we are rebranding to Stop Asking and Jabin will be our full-time guitarist. Uh, we've got several shows of the June Deadway tour. We've got... Yeah, that's uh, mega. We've got like six A potential or seven UK shows. tour in the August. Wow. Yeah, UK. We're waiting for some details back from the UK for the end of August, which will be cool if that all goes ahead. Mm. We've got Deer Gaze in, I think, September again. In, yeah, in September, October, where... Writing a bunch of new demos. Sick. Looking Go at... to Dear Gays. Dear Gays is awesome. Chelsea's great. Mm. We're Go thinking uh, EP is going to be our next theme. I'll be playing the drums. Finn will be playing the drums as usual. Uh, usually a good time. So I reckon I might learn some synth to play some really obnoxious synth parts. Potentially, or... yeah. So potentially a, a music video and an EP and Shawnee on synth by the end of the year with, as always, Finn on drums. Finn, <laughs> where's drum? When does um, the milk incident play? The milk incident just... has no upcoming gigs. Hey? The milk incident has no upcoming gigs. How big is your birthday? Yeah, Jenny shows. <laughs> I'm looking forward to actually seeing you guys one day. The milk incident just sort of appears. Now I feel like I'm in the middle of a nightclub. Turn your music down. I've got three minutes to go, for fuck's sake. Everyone shut up. That's it, you wait. Make your life. Um, yeah, so hey, really appreciate it. Um, it'll be up in a few days. Thank you again. Stop asking. Thanks for having us on, Maddie. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's good. Thank, Thank you, Bob. This show is loud.